Welcome back to my channel. My name is Deanna. I own Virtuous HR Solutions. I help small business owners just like yourself build trust with employees to prevent lawsuits using HR techniques. And today it's all about disciplined employees. The very uncomfortable situation of disciplining your employees and why it is so necessary for you to do so and what exactly you need to do to do it. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started. Let's take a moment and talk about what can happen if you don't discipline your employees. If you don't speak to them about a problem or a situation that you've seen or overheard and you just let it continue to go on. The first is the obvious. They will take advantage of you as a business owner, as a leader, as a manager. They will literally begin to walk all over you. I know everyone remembers an employee that would call out all the time, would be lazy at work, that would seem like they got away with everything, that's what could happen to you if you do not discipline your employees. You will end up looking like a weak manager, a weak leader, a weak business owner. And eventually if you have other employees, they will lose their respect for you because you're letting this one employee or maybe both or all your employees walk all over you, they have no respect for you. And it's gonna be a lot harder for you to discipline them and trust them and trust anybody else later on. So that is just like a quick little overview of what can happen if you don't discipline an employee. But I wanna get into more detail as to why you need to start doing it and why you need to be consistent. All right. Discipline is about leadership and respect. If you don't, you lose it. When you do, you get it, okay? Leadership and respect. You respect your parents because they punish you. You respect your teachers because they punish you. You're supposed to respect law enforcement because they enforce the laws and there's punishment in the justice system, but that's a different story. I'm not gonna get into it, but punishment leads to respect. Now, punishment or discipline doesn't mean termination or firing them, okay? It could be um, simple as speaking to them, putting them on a performance improvement plan, um, letting them, making them go home early without pay or sending them home without pay or things of that nature. It doesn't always mean firing somebody when I mean discipline and, and punishment. If you wanna be, um, one of those business owners is like, what do you believe your punishment should be? You can do that. I mean, it's your business. It's up to you if you want to do that. I don't recommend it. But you want to make sure, as I said before, treat all the employees the same way. So if someone is on their phone all the time and you speak to that person about it and then somebody else is on their phone all the time and you don't, it doesn't create that fairness, which is another reason why you need to discipline employees. Okay, so fairness is everybody sees themselves getting treated the same way. I can't be on my phone and nobody else can be on their phone. I can't sit here and have a personal conversation on a company phone and neither can you. Um, yeah, so family, <laughs> I don't hire or I wouldn't suggest hiring family for that reason because it can show favoritism, which is called nepotism. And it doesn't look good when you have other employees there who are not family. So family, close friends of that nature, yeah. Um, this is the reason why many, many companies go against um, a family member supervising another family member because of the favoritism. They'll let them person get away and then it creates this ill culture and disrespect of the business and that manager and it's a, basically another snowball effect. So just don't hire family. <laughs> if you want to, that's up to you. This is just my personal professional. Um, this is just my personal professional advice to you is don't hire family. Long story short is you need to stop being afraid to discipline your employees. I know there are some business owners out there who've been in management and leadership positions. So this is nothing new for you. You disciplined an employee before. But there are also some out there 
owners out there who's never been in management or leadership position. So this is scary. This is new territory. This is frightening. <laughs> but you have to think to yourself, my business needs me to do this because I need to be a strong leader. I need to be a respected leader. Discipline can be as simple as having a conversation with someone. Um, I would suggest a closed door conversation if you have a door to your office, not an email, not a text message, not a phone call, something private if you have other employees around. So a tip for you on disciplined employee is documentation. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm always talking about how you need to document. So let me know in a comment below if you're going to start disciplined employees, but documentation is definitely necessary. It helps prevent lawsuits. I don't know how many times I can say this, but it pre helps prevent lawsuits and it helps you be proactive instead of reactive. It protects your business. It protects you. And it is no longer your word against their word. It's our word against your word. It's me and you sitting down having a conversation. We documented this, you signed it. So both of us were in agreement. And now basically it's your word against your word. If that makes any sense, let me know in the comments if that makes sense because it kind of confused myself, which means I might've confused you, but it's coming back to me. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm going to stop because I'm not trying to confuse you or myself anymore. Just know that you need to document, you need to get a signature from that employee and that they will not be able to say, Hey, this is the reason why when actually you have proof of the reason why. So that made better sense to me. <laughs> um, but that's all the time I have for you. If you want more personalized help or, um, an action plan or anything of that nature for your business, please, Use the link below, book a call with me. My calls are free. They're 30 minutes. We can come up with an action plan, a game plan for you and your business as to come to discipline employees or anything else related to HR for your small business. I'm here to help. And don't forget to like this video so I know to keep making more for you and subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when my next videos are coming out. And share, share, click the link to share. Share with a fellow business owner that can benefit from these HR tips because I'm trying to prevent lawsuits, you guys, and I can't do that unless you share the word out there. Anyway, I guess I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Bye.